it's 3 a.m. and I haven't slept. Um, I've been trying to sleep since for about three, four hours now, and I just can't. Um, I keep there's a missing cockatiel people are talking about on Tumblr, Coco, and I just. I just keep thinking about that poor bird out there somewhere, you know? I <clears throat> never even followed the blog or anything. I just saw notices of him missing. You know, Athena flew off once. When she was young. Um, she was only gone for an hour. And she walked right back up to me. Just landed in front of me and walked up. I think she... Because previous to that, I'd been running around after her. I just kind of went to the ground and she... I guess she decided she'd had enough. And she walked right back. And I just keep thinking, what if she hadn't? Or what if she flew off now? Or one of the budgies? You know, I just keep thinking about all those scared birds out there. I don't... Don't know how to find their way back. I just... I turn off the lights. And I... That's all that's in my head. <laughs> I... I just don't know what I'd do, you know? And... They wouldn't know what to do. <sighs> there was a sitcom I was watching, uh, Don't Trust the Bee in Apartment 23. And at one point, uh, someone's macaw went missing. And um, one of the characters remembered, I believe it was during sex, she remembered reading that if you leave the cage out, the bird is more likely to see a place to come back to. And sure enough, they got the macaw back, so that was nice, because birds generally aren't treated very well on sitcoms. I don't know why. It just it baffles me. <laughs> uh, like that um, the Odd Couple reboot, when he gets the parakeet, names it Hope, and it, init and it basically immediately gets sucked into a new vacuum. I was kind of hoping there would be a featherless parakeet in the show from then on, but no, it just died, and no one was upset by this at all. It was weird. I mean, people treat birds especially small birds like they're nothing and it's just weird to see that on shows we're supposed to laugh at it's bizarre <gasps> i kind of wish um i mean big bang theory kind of averted that when that bird flew in that was very tame and uh bernadette was saying she thought it was someone's pet but they never went anywhere with that. Like, it just flew out the window again after Sheldon had bonded with it. And, yeah, they never resolved that. Was it someone's pet? Was it just an unusually tame wild bird? I don't know. Uh, but even that was handled a lot better than most bird plots. Uh, I just, like... I think about birds an awful lot. You know, one time I was trying really hard to get to sleep. 
And my brain decided to suddenly give me just this random image. It didn't come from anything. My brain just decided to dredge up a, an image of someone just stuffing parakeets in a blender. And I was like, I, where the hell does this shit come from? <laughs> you know people think empathy is great and all but not when it literally keeps you up at night but not when it literally gives you horrible horrible images not when it you know makes you feel what a tiny scared bird is feeling. <coughs> I just I'm getting a message there. Shut up. I'm getting messages for something called Tapa Talk, and I've never been there, but supposedly it's something to do with the website I used to go to all the time, so I don't know what's going on. <sighs> anyway. I don't know. I just feel like when I get like this, I just want to wake the birds up and cuddle them. And I can't do that, you know? They gotta sleep, too. And I'd rather, you know, just me not sleep than them not sleeping, you know? And work tomorrow, today, which means I have to leave them here. And Athena doesn't understand, you know? To her, I'm just going. She doesn't know where I work or what work is. So to her, I'm just disappearing. I hear her. Like, <clears throat> even when I have the patio door closed and everything and the house is all locked up, I'll hear her crying for me when I walk off. You know, I'll be at the door. I'll go around past where the mailbox is, and I'll hear her all that way. It just breaks my heart. Because she just doesn't understand, and there's no way to explain it to her. You know, it's something I have to do. I have to go to work. I wish I could take her with me everywhere, you know? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I thought maybe if I vented, I'd be able to sleep better. Hopefully, you know? <sighs> 